Now let's play around a little bit with calculus. So say we have something like, oh, I don't know, x to the third minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. And we want to take the derivative of this with respect to x. Well, we can, there are several ways to get to the calculus operations. So you can go to F3, and you can pick differentiate right there. You can go to the math menu, which has a whole bunch of different kinds of um, math functions in one place. And there's the calculus. You can get to differentiate there. Or on the keyboard, there's just the shortcut. You have integral right above the number 7, and you have uh, derivative right above the number 8. I'm going to do that. So the derivative of x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. And then we are going to differentiate with respect to x. So comma x, close parenthesis, and we'll see what that gives us. So that gives us 3x squared minus 4x plus 5, which is what we would expect. And let's say we want to integrate that same thing. Again, you can go through those menus, or right above the number 7 key is integrate. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab that whole thing right there, and then integrate with respect to x. Now, if, well, let's just run this first. So when we get x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x, well, what happened to our minus 3? Well, when we integrate, we're always going to have some kind of a constant. So this, remember, when you integrate symbolically like this, you all always are going to have that plus c. However, let's say we want to integrate this from 0 to 3 and find out what that is. I can just take this expression and do other commas. So I've got, I'm integrating with respect to x, and then my limits are 0 and 3. Hit that again, and we get an answer of 24. So that's integration and differentiation in a nutshell. Of course, you can do that with sines and cosines. If I integrate, well, let me make sure my mode here. Go to radian mode if I'm going to do that. So the TI-89 is smart with regards to things that don't have um, uh, trigonometric functions. But if I need to do it in Uh, do those trigonometric functions, and I need to be doing uh, it in radian mode. Just remember that. All right, so cosine x with respect to x. We integrate that, we get sine x. You can also do with respect to other variables. So I could do y, be sine y, of course, and theta. That's just green shift and theta key over here. And you can do it with respect to, you can do partial differentiation and partial integration as well. So if I've got x times cosine theta and I integrate with respect to theta, then I get sine theta of x. If I integrate with respect to x, you get x squared over 2 times cosine theta. So lots of very good functionality here. It's great for checking your answers, for making sure you understand uh, what's going on. And it's great just for uh, you know, finding a definite integral. And same thing with differentiation. You can do partial differentiation. I've got uh, the derivative of x squared times y and different, or, yeah, differentiate with respect to x, and with respect to y, you're going to get different answers.